Hold on. Let's go back into the courtroom right now live. We have a jury question in the Reed case. Here we go. In consideration of all disputed evidence, we have been unable to reach a unanimous verdict signed by the foreperson. So I want to hear from counsel um, your view on whether there has been due and thorough deliberation. So let's start with the Commonwealth. Uh, my answer would be no, Your Honor. This simply hasn't been sufficient time yet. And what does the defense say? Uh, we believe that there has been sufficient All right, so I'll hear from both of you in more detail. Mr. Lally, I will hear you. Your Honor, the jury received this case uh, just um, earlier this week. Uh, they, they've had uh, slightly shortened days, and, and I'm not in any way, shape, or form suggesting that they haven't conducted their due diligence in regard to uh, their deliberative process, but I would submit that it is far, far, far too early uh, in their deliberative process to even consider giving them any kind of uh, Tui Rodriguez instruction or anything close to that. Um, furthermore, what the note doesn't really indicate uh, affirmatively that they can't come to a conclusion. It just says that they haven't come to a conclusion uh, through their deliberative process at this time. Um, so it, they're not even asking for one, is what I would say. All right. Thank you. Ms. Giannetti, I'll hear you. Your Honor, I would disagree with Mr. Lally's characterization of the note. Um, the word exhaustive is the word, I think, that's operative here. Um, they're communicating to the court that they've exhausted all... manner of uh, compromise, all manner of persuasion, uh, and they're at an impasse. Uh, you know, this is a, a case where the jury has the legal instructions. They've only really asked one question, which was to try to get a report that they were not allowed to get. Uh, and I think the message has been received that the evidence is closed. They won't get anything more. They've been working uh, essentially nonstop over the last, you know, three, four days. Uh, you know, we're, we're uh, approaching the, the weekend. Uh, they didn't come back with this at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock. They're at 12 o'clock, and they have nowhere to turn. So our position is the jury should be read the two Rodriguez model instruction and uh, go from there. Okay. All right, so you all know that it is within my discretion, I decide. So um, a, a case that has been, you know, it's a long case. This is our fourth day of deliberations, but Tuesday was a short afternoon, maybe two and a half hours. Um, Wednesday, they left early because of an appointment. Yesterday was um, also shortened a little bit. And this note arrived with less than three hours of deliberations today. So the, the length of the trial, the length of the deliberations, I know the case had, we heard from 74 witnesses. There are 657 exhibits, very complex issues in this case. I'm not prepared to find that there have been due and thorough deliberations at this point. So I am going to send them back out, we'll bring them in, and we'll do that now. All right, so not a huge surprise, the judge deciding that uh, the jury has worked hard, but not hard enough. So they are uh, returning to the box. She will give them an instruction. I'm curious here to see whether or not she gives them the Allen charge, the dynamite charge. I've been looking at it, the one that they give in Massachusetts. Uh, and it's pretty typical, pretty typical. It basically says, hey, if you're uh, locked on conviction, 
give some thoughts to the other side of the argument. If you're locked on acquittal, give some thoughts to the other side of the argument. So let's see if she gives that specific instruction or just something more generic that suggests that, uh, that uh, you know, you, you uh, have worked hard to this point. But don't give up. I'm not giving up on you. Uh, there's nobody better to make this decision. Uh, and so that's the kind of pep talk we often see if it is not the very specific uh, dynamite or Allen charge that is codified. So let's go back in. Looks like the jury is impaneled. Let's see. Jurors, I'm re in receipt of your note. I am writing to inform you on behalf of the jury that despite our exhaustive review of the evidence and our diligent consideration of all disputed evidence, we have been unable to reach a unanimous verdict signed by your four person. We all know how hard you've been working. Lunch will be arriving shortly. When it comes, I'd ask you to clear your heads, have lunch, and begin your deliberations again. So, or continue your deliberations, all right? So I'm sending you back out. All right, to the court, please. <coughs> Sheriff Baldwin, please. All right, short and sweet. Okay, Coach, uh, he's encouraging the uh, panel to have a nice lunch, relax, think, get back at the deliberations. We're going to talk about it uh, when we come right back. Again, the Karen Reed case, the jury says, we've, we've done all we can do. Judge says, no, you haven't. Get back to work. We'll be right back.